What's up, guys? It's Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. I'm back. Finally, after a couple of month hiatus, I tried and tried and tried to catch fish. All throughout November, December, I had warm weather. Fish just weren't interested, guys. I don't know what to tell you. It was a rough year last year in Maryland. A lot of people just couldn't get it going. We killed it on salt water, but it was hard. We, uh, we live inshore. Closest salty water we can get to is really the bay. And after a while, as it gets deeper in the season, it just kind of shuts off. It's pre-season trout stocking going on right now. When you sign up for the Maryland DNR site for email alerts and for the fishing report, they'll actually send you messages via email letting you know what's going on with the fishing and then when they're stocking trout and how everyone's doing. So, I'm so excited that we get a little bit of a little warm weather, even though it's going to piss on us all weekend. And I'm going to go out and try to catch some trout. I like to give my business to small businesses. I like Clyde's in Baltimore. I go to Anglers in Annapolis and everything. Uh, but I have like a million of these things. So, be that as it may, I'm going to go buy some trout gear. Now, I can't shoot inside the store because honestly, I haven't asked them and I don't know how it's going to go and I don't want to get sued by Johnny Morris or anything like that. So, I'm going to get some gear and then I'll show you what I got after I'm done. Now, some big news. Looks like one rod, one reel is actually coming out of whatever hiatus he's been in. I just saw him on uh, Lojo's podcast on this channel on YouTube. I'll post the link in the video below. Run rod, one rod is coming back. And uh, hopefully he's got some uh, some fire for us. He's going to start fishing this weekend too, apparently. That's what he was saying in the video. So, excited for that. Like these videos, share these videos, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I really appreciate your support. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this summer at some point. Stay tuned. Well, that was close. I went in there at 745. I didn't think they closed at 8. Mess around with you guys, shooting my video on my truck. You almost made me miss it. I got some trout stuff. It's the next day. This is what we're going to try to do. I was reading on the Maryland DNR website. And I saw that they put trout in Tapsco up by Daniel's Dam, which is in Baltimore County, right over the line. And uh, Gunpowder Falls, which is also in Baltimore County. So Daniel's Dam is a little bit closer. We're probably going to stop over there first. They've stocked both places in the last week. So let's see if we can get on the bike. Now, one of the good things about fishing this early in the year during the pre during the preseason or late in the fall or the early winter is that you don't have to get up early as dick in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I like this kind of fishing because I can sleep basically until I feel like it and drag my ass up and go. Oh my God. I just went to Daniel's Dam, no place to park, absolutely packed. I went down that road, across the bridge, into Baltimore County, absolutely nowhere to park, even on the far mountain side. Like if you're familiar with that area of Patapsco River with State Park over there, there's absolutely nowhere to park. It was just crazy. I guess everyone had the same idea I had today. So I think I'm gonna go north towards like the PA border, maybe up by Gunpowder Falls, Little Gunpowder Falls, whatever's up there and try to go fishing in that area. I've never done it before, but we're gonna see what we can do. All right, folks, we made it. A little bit of a ride, but we're up here at Gunpowder Falls State Park. Uh, this is where DNR said they put some. So, I've never been here before. I got a bunch of spinner blades. I got some old conventional hooks and some weights. And I got some clay, some power bait. I don't honestly know what we're we'll looking at when I get back down in the water. But we're going to see if we can produce some fish. Looks like everything that was upstream. Look at it rain pretty good upstream. Because uh, I've been by here. And I don't remember the water ever being quite this deep. Second thing, there are a lot of footprints around here. People have definitely been over here. So, I don't see anyone fishing. A lot of cars out there, but I don't see anyone fishing. Because the water is real fast, I don't think I can hold bottom. I'm gonna try fishing with inline spinners. Inline spinner baits are some of these easiest baits really to use because you just have to tie them on and then throw them and then keep a steady pace. Uh, when you're fishing rivers and streams, you always wanna look for areas where it's after rapids or there's a pocket or a pool where you see the water swirling. Usually that's where a predatory fish or really any kind of target game fish or anything is going to sit. 
and look for bait to bang around the rapids and come out and then just be easy prey. So I'm going to start out using this 1 8 ounce inline spinner blade. This is a rooster tail. It's one of my favorite all time inline spinner blade baits. Uh, this one's got a brown and white, like almost like a yellow perch pattern. I've had a lot of success in the past with this, so we're going to start out using this. Before I even get started, I'll show you what I picked up last night at Bass Pro Shop. I bought my first ever loose speed stick. It's a speed stick, American Hero. Um, six feet, it was a combo. Six to one gear ratio. It's light, uh, it's nice. I put four pound mono on it because um, right now, in the beginning of the season, I'm pretty much going to use this exclusively for trout. I like it. It's reasonably priced. Endurance IM7. I never had one before. I know lose a big and a speed stick is a, is, a, is a big thing. A lot of people have them. A lot of them use it for finesse fishing and stuff like that for bass. And it's probably what I'm going to turn this into once trout season's over. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. couple of things. I'm switching up the color. Went from gold blade with a brown and yellow body to a straight up white with a silver blade. Sometimes that will make fish eat. Here's the other thing about this though. I'm going up to the 3 eighths of an ounce and I got really light line here. So if I'm not really careful, it's a good possibility I could break this off. It makes it easier because it's heavier. So this is not the smartest idea, but I'm already out here. This 3 8 ounce, this big spinner blade, that's more something I would typically use in the summertime with heavier line, or especially in the bay and salt water for like big perch during the fall. I wish I can go smaller, but I only got a couple of spinning reels with me. I wish I can go smaller, but I only got a couple of lures with me. And right now, until I can go back to Bass Pro and they start taking cards or whatever. Right now, out here in northern Baltimore County, I have what I have. So, until I can go back to the store and go buy some more inline spinning blades, I'm going to just try to make this work. I'm running out of daylight anyway. Good news guys, I ran into Maryland DNR, two of those dudes out here. They weren't even sure if they put trout in this location yet, but they said they go to Harford Road, which is, I don't know, a different crossing of uh, this river, which honestly I didn't even catch the direction that it is or how to get there, but I'll Google it. So we're going to try over there. I just made it over to Harford Road. This looks like the same area I was just fishing in, but supposedly they stocked a bunch of trout in here recently. I don't know, losing daylight, we'll see what happens. So I don't know if you guys caught that, but I just went in the drink a little bit. So now I got wet feet, my pants are wet, and I haven't caught anything all day. So 
I'm gonna call it. Hopefully we have better luck tomorrow or a different location. Second day, it's Sunday. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's, it's raining like a bastard out here. And I figured, who's gonna be dumb enough, other than me, to go out fishing and uh, have you rain the downpour like that and as cold as it is? And I found out at Daniel's Dam, the answer is a lot of people still. So, there's a dam, you can kind of see it back there, over the waterfall. I'm downstream a little bit because there's just a million people up there and uh, we're going to see if we can get these fish to eat. I think I made it far as down as I'm willing to go. I know there's, there's dudes down there in the water. You can probably look and see them all the way down there, but... The hillside is looking kind of sketch, and it's raining like crazy out here, and the idea of me falling in this water where it's like already 45 degrees and raining with all my stuff on just doesn't appeal to me, so I'm going to head back up. Different rivers. I haven't seen anyone even catch a fish. One guy told me that he heard someone caught a small brown trout. So I'm going to run over to Bass Pro Shop and replace the inline spinner blades that I lost. I still got good cards left. And then I'm going to see if I can figure out some other place to fish. That's it, guys. I went to four different spots. I was up at Gunpowder River, two different spots yesterday in Baltimore County. I was over in Patapsco in Baltimore County and Ellicott City in Howard County. I went to a place in Howard County called Savage Mill because normally they put trout there and Maryland DNR said they put trout in Howard County, a little Patuxent River, so I assume that's what they were talking about, but it was nothing but a big rushing mud puddle. And honestly, I got spinner blades and trout magnets and I got, I got the power bait, you know, the clay. I just don't think any of that stuff's going to work. So, better luck next weekend. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want me to do, which goes, what you guys think I should do this season, uh, any ideas. I'm hopefully going to do some collaborations with guys over the next year. I look forward to making more content for you guys and keeping you guys entertained. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.